CVWD is going into stage two of six in its water shortage contingency plan, asking its customers to conserve with some measures that some of the board members worried might be considered drastic. The Coachella Valley Water District Board of Directors voted Tuesday morning to ban outdoor daytime water use like spray irrigation or sprinklers from 10 a.m. to sunset. Our climate condition is only getting worse. It's not going to get better. Last month, Governor Newsom issued executive orders asking water agencies to start saving some water. Last July, the state water board requested a voluntary 15% reduction. As of February, CVWD had only reduced by under 3%. Statewide, agencies reduced by about 6%. CVWD Conservation Manager Jenna Shimon says the new measures, like a ban on daytime irrigation, will save more water, but not without pushback. Limiting the time frame they're concerned will lead to plants wilting or potentially dying. Um, so we tried to find like that common area or that common interest there where we still see our water savings, but customers are able to keep green landscapes. And so by irrigating up till 10 a.m., they should be able to achieve that. The board approved another measure Tuesday requiring restaurants to only serve water with meals when requested by customers. Board member Anthony Bianco said the moves might be too drastic for the desert. I'll be honest with you, it's really hard for me to tell the public that we need to, to not water during the day mm -hmm. when there are city councils approving Wave parks. Bianco ultimately voted in favor of the measures, which are coming as the La Quinta City Planning Commission is considering approving an 18 million gallon wave basin. Now we have to ask for water in a restaurant, but it's okay to waste 18 million gallons in a surf park. That's just just crazy. CVWD officials say projects like the surf park have already been approved. And so by conserving water, it helps us meet those long term supplies that we've already approved and looked into a deepening drought and now new water cutbacks requested. Jake Ingracia, News Channel 3.